Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're going to 8-6. The game is coming to a close soon. Well, World 8 at least. You know, there's still World 9 to do, but still. In this one, you can tell that we've got a little bit of pressure by that lava. Yep, so let's not waste too much time here and try and get ahead of it. Uh, I guess I can't find anything in those blocks. Oh, a propeller mushroom. Try and keep this all the way to the end, because it's very handy for getting some star coins. And if you want to, you can do a little boop 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 kind of thing with the uh, Koopa shell there. And... Oh, I wanted to keep it until the end. The curses. Well, there's star coin number one. Uh, P-switch. I don't really care that much. Must. Get. Let's get... Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, well, uh... Wait, which coin was that? I'm already at the end of this, or the first half of the stage, at least. Well, I missed that one, so I'll be back in just a second, but I'm going to hit the checkpoint and just continue on up. Uh, for these kinds of things here, what you want to do is get on the edge like that, jump to the center, and then jump to the side again. It's not that hard to do, it just takes a little bit of practice. And woo! Chain swinging and getting hit in the face by a Poldo Boo. And collecting red coins, hopefully for another propeller mushroom. <laughs> because uh, the last uh, star coin in this one is pretty difficult to get without it. Boop, thank you. And upsy daisy. And I'm going to go up like this. And you'll see the last star coin is up there. Now the reason why it's difficult is because you have to... It's kind of like you have to... It stalls you for time, basically. And I can't get in there just yet. And there we go. And I'll be back in this uh, stage in just a second to get that other star coin. And then leave for the next stage. So I will see you in a minute, I guess. It's Mario time! Okay, let's give this a shot. Oh, yeah, that's how you do it without the uh, propeller mushroom. To the end! And there we go! No deaths whatsoever, even on the second run. Um, what I'm going to do here is attempt to backtrack through these Poto Boos. What I could do, here's a little trick if you want to do that, is to select a world like that, and then select a different world, and then select, and then select back to world 8 whenever you select a different world, and then you'll end up back at the beginning. But, I would like to see if I'll get another Poto... Well, never mind. I was gonna say, see if I get another Poto Boo uh, minigame thing, just to see if it's different, but whatever. Let's just go to 8-7, before we go to 8-airship, because, you know, you'd be out, out of order and stuff like that. This is one of my favorite stages in the game. It is... A Skull Roller Coaster. Now, it seems... Pretty uh, generic in a way, but it gets a lot more interesting later on. It just starts off pretty simple with some nice waves. It's going pretty quick though. You can still easily react to whatever you see coming your way, but you have to be prepared for star coins coming your way, wherever they may be. Um, I don't remember where they are. I'm probably going to have to take a few runs through this level until I get them all. I really don't hope, I mean, I really hope I didn't miss any, <laughs> you know, in that first section, anything. I, re I recall there being a hidden wall somewhere, um, like to the left in this stage. Like, whenever I say that I re remember something, but yet I don't, that, that, it means, like, I don't really remember the stage, like, all the secrets per se. It's the fact that I only remember certain things about the stage that are like important to a point. It's kind of hard to explain how I work in that way, but that's basically how I play all games when I do a second or third run through them. Oh, well, that was the first coin. <laughs> Anything up here? But yes, that's... it's like... it's hard to describe. Like, I remember where certain secrets are in a way, like when I, what I'm looking for in a level, but I can't like pinpoint them in my mind where they are until I get to that point in the level. You know, I, I have to be kind of like reminded where those kinds of secrets are. There's coin number two. It's just like right in the middle of your, you know, jump path. So it's like, what's the point of even uh, putting one there? You're not going to miss it. 
And I could have grabbed those red coins, but I really don't feel like it with when I'm on uh, uh, <clears throat> this roller coaster roller coaster bone guy here. <laughs> I don't even know what they call them now. I mean, what they call them in general. Oh, this is the secret that I was thinking of, but it's not the coin. I could have swore there was a coin. Hmm. Well, maybe it's a power-up that, that I remember. See, this is what I mean about that I just don't remember things in exact detail. Like, I remember, like, certain details of some secrets, but not quite. And I just noticed that there was another roller coaster track up there! And that's the last star coin. This is probably the coolest part of the level here. And look at this, they're like crisscrossing each other. It's like... These aren't hard to stay on whatsoever because you just fall right on top of another one. But what's so cool about them is like it's like you're on a bunch of hills moving forward. It's like you're running across a bunch of hills, but at the same time it's automated, so it kind of throws you off. At the same time, it doesn't. It's 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 a really cool feeling to go through that stage. And that's one of my favorite stages because of it. And I should add that. Uh, the, the lava stages, like the one that you just heard, uh, or just seen, excuse me, have some very awesome music. Do do do. I, I don't know if there's something about something about lava music or lava areas in general that always have a really good soundtrack. I don't know why. It, it's just something that lava areas have. Anyway, whenever you see a screw like this in this airship stage here, you just want to spin onto it by. Uh, uh, shaking the Wii Remote, and as you've seen, there's a one up there, you can break the crates as before, there's a power up here, and uh, these cannonballs are incredibly slow. If you don't have a power up, you can just spin, uh, I mean, you can just jump on top of cannonballs. What's the point of going down here anyway, to release that guy? What, why, why would you want to do that? <laughs> I don't know, but I do recommend that you keep your power up all the way to the end. Um, as usual, the propeller mushroom very broken in getting star coins, and the broken is something that's, ow, <laughs> dang it, something that's very good when you want to collect star coins. And uh, you can get unlimited one-ups by continuously bouncing on those three cannonballs. Um, I'm going to carefully, there we go. And there's, there's a pipe on that. How the heck does that work? Do you, are you supposed to, like, I, when it goes vertically, are you supposed to go inside the shaft that the cannonballs are popping out of or something like that? I mean, how does that work, really? I mean, think about this for a second here. Come on, think about it. Okay, fine, don't question the game logic. I know you don't want the universe to implode, but you, you gotta question it sometime. You know, just a little bit. Anyway, this is kind of like a run. Get these things down as far as you possibly can and run through them before they go back up. And of course there's a harder second section with these kind of blocks. It's kind of like a little obstacle course of hurdles. And that's not hard to get through at all as long as you keep a steady rhythm through it. And we're in the second portion. Well, I guess that other one could have been considered the second portion too. You go away. I am looking for a power, and I'm also looking to see what this screw does. What does this do? Oh, it brings coins out. Well, that's pretty nice. But I don't care about coins, because I have 99 lives! <laughs> coins are useless except for lives in this game anyway, unless they're like for points or something. But who cares about points too? Oh, that brings up that guy. Yeah, coins give you points as well, but as I said, who cares about that? And... Uh, is that really the point? There's no coins up there, really. Okay, I'm just gonna hit that then. Uh, maybe I should have attempted to get up there, maybe... Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I'm going to... E! E! Yeah! Yeah! I am a sneaky plumber. Anyway, just keep shaking the Wii Remote to get across here and jump when there's an opening to get past the Mega Koopas. And... Okay, this one will squish you if you don't get through it. Get it as far open as possible. Run, keep the steady rhythm. Don't try and... I mean, don't fall into the gaps if you can help it. Oh, I need my propeller mushroom. No! Um, wait, 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 wait. I might be able to do this a different way. I'm gonna grab you, throw you... Well, that sucked. <laughs> I was gonna say throw it to the other side, then use it to get the... Okay, we're back over here. Let's let's try and get 
that guy. I'm, I'm just trying to think of how to do this without a propeller mushroom. Oh, I think I screwed it up there. <laughs> Unless I can reset the guy, but I doubt that. Well, I might be able to. Let's just see. Oh, there he is again. Okay. So let's try and get over there with this Mega Koopa. See, I like to do things without power-ups because it's like trying to figure out the puzzle the game designers intended you to do. And then you want to spin to get the coin out. And grab this guy, throw it, ah, uh, throw it at the coin. That's my idea. Throw it at it, throw it at the coin from all the way down there. Let's try it again. I, I, I obviously have unlimited chances to get this, so yeah, let's just keep going at this, I guess. Come on, baby. And I'm gonna have to restart you. And no, that's not good enough. How do they want me to do that? It just doesn't seem like you can throw that guy far enough. <laughs> But that might be the puzzle. That very well might be the puzzle. Like, maybe I have to throw him closer to... I'm gonna... No, not like that. <laughs> um, get that all the way down there. And... Ow, that sucked. <laughs> and let's, let's get him right there. And now... No, that's gonna fail too. Well, I'll come back here with a propeller mushroom. Um... Yeah, let's just do the boss and come back here. <laughs> I was gonna restart the stage, but nah, that's not a good idea. Woo! Now you've noticed you got that floor that's like that. Wait a second. Oh my god, he's got his daddy's clown car! He's hijacked that! Holy poopers! Uh, the object of this one is to ground pound to get that spike ball to go up and hit him like that. This boss battle is quite easy. <laughs> but all the Bowser Jr. fights are. Um, put the fire, just leave it into a place that it won't cause you much trouble. And uh, I'm low running long time, that's great! But I should be able to beat him before the time goes up. So let's just hope for the best and ground pound for the win. Yeah, that most fire in kind of awkward spots there. Yeah, just saying. I'm gonna try and lead him over to the right side when he shoots his spike ball. There we go. Uh, I was hoping for it to come over towards this side right away, but I guess that's not the case. I think I'll still have enough time to get the spike ball up towards him. Unless it explodes. Ah, oh, I got him! Yeah! Three hits for the win. That's the boss battle. And I'll be back for the other coin in just a minute. Oh, a little cutscene, I guess. Forgot about this. Mario, she was right there! Why didn't you grab her? Oh, I swear, Mario can be so useless sometimes. Let's go back to the stage. Uh, this is this is kind of funny here. See where you're standing? Now if you go back to the airship, and then go back, you can't stand there anymore. That's the only time throughout the entire game that you can stand on that spot in front of the bridge. Anyway, back to the airship! Okay, we're back over here with a propeller mushroom. So, we gotta do this again. You remember? Yeah, that one. The one in the cave with the flower of coins. Here we go! Yeah! Oh, I failed. Well, I got... That one's not as hard as the flower of coins, except for the fact that I need to keep this coin down there. Whoa! Yeah! Okay, I guess all I have to do is defeat Bowser Jr. one more time. So... Let's just finish out this part by doing so, I guess. Uh, I got the propeller mushroom, so I've actually got three hits this time. And, uh, yeah, I don't even know why I'm showing this again, I guess. <laughs> because I've uh, used a bunch of cuts already in this part, and I was kind of, I shouldn't say low on time, just doesn't seem like I used a lot of time for this part, so to speak. And, uh, you'll notice that Bowser Jr. up there just kind of, like, hovers above you. 
Ah, uh, so you can always just wait for that spike ball to come near you, and then ground palm. That's basically how to hit him easily. Come on, just keep shooting your fireballs and uh, spike balls, preferably closer. <laughs> No, no, no. Come on. Whoa! Success! And one more hit. Come on, one more hit. You don't need to spew that many fireballs, man. Just, just drop a spike ball and everyone will be happy. Well, except maybe you. That, that, that kind of may, may be a disadvantage for you, but not for me, though. And I'm just waiting for... It's gonna fail. <laughs> go, 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 go! Yeah! Breaking the boss with the propeller mushroom. Well, okay, just a little bit. I just barely escaped that, really. I really wish that thing would be a little bit... Like, a little bit... There we go. <laughs> I wish it wouldn't go the other way. That's basically what I'm saying. Anyway, that's all for this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we do Bowser's Castle.